So hello everyone, today it's a pleasure to welcome Vishmita, who recently got into Muhlenberg College in Pennsylvania and she will be sharing her journey towards getting 100% scholarship through the Next Genius program and ultimately to study in the US. So hi Vishmita, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, thank you so much, Anur. I am Vishmita D'Souza. I am studying in Muhlenberg College, an undergraduate student. I'm planning to pursue business administration with media and communication, so double majoring. I am from Mumbai. I was born and brought up in Karnataka, but I live in Mumbai. I did my high school in Mumbai as well. So I studied in St. Xavier's College. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> So can you please share what inspired you to study abroad after high school and how you got to know about Next Genius program? So when I was in my 12th grade, I was a pandemic batch. So the entire year went just online on Zoom. And then I really did not have a plan in my mind. So I did not really want to dive into uh, pursuing majors just because everyone were doing. So I took a gap year. I'm a gap year student. And I wanted to really explore since I mean, I was good at humanities. I did humanities back then, but now I'm pursuing business administration. So I knew I was good at it. But then um, I also knew that I, w I was not aware of the other fields. I did not know if I like anything else. I, I would pursue humanities only based on the fact that I had some knowledge on it, uh, knowledge around that area. So I did not want to get stuck in that loop. That's why I decided to take a gap year. And uh, two of my uh, classmates uh, back then had applied through Next Genius and got into Next Genius. And then I saw them go there. And then, you know, I was researching because it was the pandemic. So you did not really have a lot of things to do. So I wanted to take charge of my life and live independently, work, and then, you know, get exposed in the get exposed to a larger community so that that is what my inspiration was very basic simple things <laughs> no really goals of why I wanted to pursue in US but particularly I just wanted good quality of education and uh, with that maybe exposure to the larger community nice so humanities to business administration so what is your goal to actually actually ultimately become like you will you want to be a leader or you want to be in a tech company or like what will be your goal after college? I am looking at specializing in marketing or uh, business administration and management. So it's more on the managerial side and not looking at tech companies. I am not really a tech savvy person. So media communication really complements uh, marketing. So I can look into going into entertainment industry and, um, you know, working in the big uh, companies like, you know, Netflix or all that and work for them as marketing, marketing associate. Or I can also go if I'm doing uh, business administration and major and specializing in management, I can become a business developer and then, you know, HR and all of that. So that is what I'm looking at at the moment. Yeah. Brilliant. So can you please share what was unique? quality as a student in your profile that actually proved that you are a good applicant for the scholarship also towards the university and also towards the next seniors program. So what, what do you think actually matters more the next seniors profile or the university application? Yeah. So Next Genius always reiterates the fact that you need to know that you fit in the campus, you fit in the college you're applying to. And that's what I kept in my mind when I was applying. I looked at what the colleges were looking for in their prospective students. When I applied to Millenburg College, I knew they had really strong sense of community. Secondly, they were very much interested in extracurriculars of the students. It was not very academic centric. I mean, in the end, it's a college, but uh, but they were looking at students who were beyond papers, who were giving them something beyond their scores. And it did not matter to them. They wanted to know what you are more than the paper you're submitting. That really, you know, uh, inspired me to uh, that really inspired me to apply to Muhlenberg College because the whole idea about their vision, about you know making making a community full of leaders and people who inspire others to look at the horizon more than more than just what you're studying in a classroom. So that's why I applied there because I knew I had a really good profile uh, extracurricular wise, 
I was always a kid who <laughs> prioritized extracurriculars or academics. That's literally what I told my admission officer that if you want, if I am applying here, it's only based on my extracurriculars, not really on my academics, because I like talking more about that and not my academics. So I was always into acting. I did professional acting for almost four years. So I was a child artist when I. Uh, I was a child artist since the age of 11 and then I stopped working at the age of 16 to pursue education and then elocutions, debates and, you know, leadership roles like student, government, all of that. So extracurriculars was what um, I think put me above the others and probably communication too because we are not really uh, submitting any SAT course it's test optional that is amazing and about the question which matters more so next genius only acts as a medium it's always the college that is uh, reviewing and analyzing your profile so you're directly submitting to the college they act as a medium they help you enhance your profile they help you build a build a nice profile so that the college accepts you but in the end it's the college's decision i see so that is actually background of a very very involved student you must be so busy throughout your high school right yeah it was it was manageable <laughs> it was fine <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of next senior program i've heard that the first step is actually the exam the level one exam and the level two exam so that that's the only part you think requires some academic background like you have to study English and mathematics for it but rest of it you think it was entirely your extracurriculars that allowed you to be competitive right yeah I mean I did have good scores <laughs> but uh, I I was above 90 percent but um yeah, extracurriculars because I think uh, it's on the it's on the candidate what they want to show and what they want to portray. So I wanted to show my extracurriculars. That's why I highlighted my extracurriculars throughout my resume and throughout my application. So I think it's to each its own. So and as I said, it's based on the college too. So it becomes very subjective like that. Yeah. Brilliant. And can you please share? What about SAT? Like, did you have to take SAT exam or because last year, because last to last year, SAT was optional, but last year, some students did take SAT and other exams. So can you share all the exams you took to get the scholarship and what were your scores if you feel comfortable sharing? Yes, yes, sure. I did not take uh, SAT. It was test optional this year as well. I mean, last year, probably. So um, I did not take the test. And maybe that's why I was more uh, interested in Next Genius Scholarship because uh, it was a gap year, but I did not really want to spend so much time just clearing SATs and then, you know, go through all that process. So I, I did not want to do that. So it was test optional. I took an English proficiency exam. I took IELTS. Uh, but that is also test optional. They have other options like Duolingo, which I did not know. I had taken uh, the exam before I got information on that. So if if you apply through Next Genius, they are so generous. They give you Duolingo waivers too, which is amazing. So you don't pay for Duolingo as well. But I took IELTS and I got uh, an overall score of eight uh, in IELTS. Uh, and apart from that, I submitted my high school scores, uh, grade 12 scores. I, I scored 91%. And uh, then I submitted my scores from 9, 10, 11, 12. They ask for these four years of your high school. So uh, 9 standard transcripts, 10 standard transcripts, and 11th and 12th. Then you submit your letter of recommendations from either your school or college. Mm -hmm. And uh, other than that, uh, exam point of view, I did not take any other exam. Only level one is the exam. Level two is not an exam. Level two is where you submit a video where you share why you want to take the, uh, why you want to go to this particular college. And it's also and you also submit video of your parents or your guardians, uh, you know, just explaining that you will be supporting your child in US. Level two is about legal work, I guess. <laughs> So with just one exam, mainly level one, you can actually make it. So it is yeah. very straightforward process. And yes. how competitive it is, you think, out of India, how many students go every year, if you have an idea? I think the number is increasing every year. Uh, probably last year, we were 70 students, if I'm not wrong. That was a big number. I mean, 
with scholarship 70 kids amazing so uh, this year to my college we are three we are three uh, people i got full scholarship and there are two more uh, students who accepted the scholarship that they received they they had partial scholarship but it was a good amount and they could manage it so it's it's really expanding the community you can see is actually growing so uh-huh. i think yeah good number like 70 70 was the number as much as i remember very nice. I know a lot of students have previously shared how much funding they got. Can you also share how much you have to pay yeah. ultimately? Yeah, sure. Uh, so my entire tuition fees is covered. That uh-huh. is, uh, I think, $30,000 annually. Yeah. yeah. No, actually $30,000 per semester. So it's $70,000. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I pay for the housing here that uh, comes up to, I guess, uh, it's it's not ten thousand dollars it's under ten thousand dollars just first year you'll have to pay a little extra for you know registration and then insurance and all of that so in total i think it's under ten thousand it's max is like ten thousand dollars i paid around annually i'm sorry and then you get installment options too so that is amazing so it's not like you're paying once and for all a lump sum amount you can always talk to your college. They'll always be considerate with that. So you'll get your installment option. So it becomes easier to pay. That is brilliant. So at the end of the day, you pay less than 8 lakh rupees per annum for everything. That yes, is really, yes. really cool. And yes. what will be your last final piece of advice for all the students who actually want to get 100% scholarship as well? And any last point of view towards Next Genius program as well, how it helped you? Next Genius has been uh, very helpful. Everyone in Next Genius, uh, all people, all the team members, they are always ready to help. They are always ready to, you know, encourage you when you're feeling low, and you just you can just text them like, okay, I, I'm not sure, I'm stuck with this part in the application. They'll definitely get back to you. If they can't help you, they'll they'll you know maybe connect you with someone from the college. So uh, during my application process, I had some queries that were college oriented, and I did not know if I could approach the college, but they made sure that I connected with the right person from the college and i had everything cleared so next genius plays a really plays a really important role in this uh, sco- in this whole scholarship program because i don't think i would be here if it was not for next genius because ultimately it's through next genius so i i am really grateful for that and it's it's a life changing opportunity you are moving countries at the age of 19 or 18. That is definitely something you should, it takes time to process. It's been 1.5 months. I still don't understand that I'm in a different country and, you know, living all my, uh, living all by myself. And um, uh, my final piece of advice is that, uh, okay, you, you're, you're, ten, you're bound to feel pressurized with all the competition. When you're doing your interviews and when you're doing your um common app essay just be very honest and very sincere about what you're writing write from your heart and write what you really feel at that point and there are many prompts so it's not like one prompt uh, will you know put your application way above the others all prompts are treated equally also you don't have to constantly um, show one aspect of you like, okay, this is my strong suit. I only have to show that. I don't have to show my weaknesses. No, they know we are all students. You can be vulnerable. It's fine. They will, they know, they know what they're doing. So, and during uh, the interviews and debates, make sure you speak because that's how you're getting, uh, and uh, getting assessed by in the end you're not submitting your scores if it was me I, yeah I did not submit my scores so that was the only opportunity to showcase what I am so yeah just be yourself and you'll be fine <laughs> know which college you're picking know that you fit in that college because you have to live there for four years don't just go by the rank see if you really like the college <laughs> yeah thank you so much Vishwita. it was a pleasure talking to you I hope this video helps all the prospective students who want to ultimately study in the US and also get 100% scholarship. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.